I can go to the grocery store now and I can buy every food under the sun. 50, 100 years ago, that wasn't the case. We had this plethora of food, but based on the argument, the food that's actually in that store is less nutrient dense than if, let's just say, that farmer was only able to grow 20 or 30 vegetables. Is that the case? Is that the, the truth of so, the matter? So what we've definitely seen... In, in the last hundred years, and certainly the last 50 or 60, as if truly industrialized farming really took over, um, you know, it was the choice. And again, I keep saying that all this stuff comes down to human choices. There's consequences to your choices. And the choice was made for, well, let's face it, for profit. And if the choice is made for profit, then what you're going to look for is quantity. And quantity will degrade quality. So yes, you're going to produce a much larger harvest of whatever fruit or vegetable you're growing. But because of this, think about that. The soil is depleted. You're growing more of these things. More nutrients having to be spread across a, a larger harvest means that each individual item is going to have less of those nutrients. Because again, it is, you're taking from a, a, I mean, again, it's a limited pool of nutrients there. It's now instead of providing a harvest of 100 kilograms, now you're providing 1,000 kilograms, say. Okay, well, now you have a 10x decrease, essentially, in the amount of available nutrient in each plant. And that's, that's the situation we face. And then, as I said, if you're not replacing those nutrients, then the next time you do this, that even gets degraded more. So it's that, that number is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking until what you're providing, there's nutrients there, but it's nowhere near what you would have had with a very healthy soil. A soil that was meant to support a certain amount of growth, rather than essentially being conditioned, if you will, to support the growth of, of more plants that are not necessarily growing well.